papa. And my soul, I'm deserving of something good. I'm taking the bullet train because I'm running late. I'm headed to my university, but in a different campus to help out with an event. This will be where I'll be coming back for the next four nights because I'm just not up to commuting to work for about three hours a day. The hotel let me check in early because they are available right now. I left my bags and now I'm walking to the university. Any idea how to walk a 25 minute distance? In 15 minutes? I'm one minute late. This is the guidebook for my work and the health check sheet. But let's be real, nobody cares about your health unless you got COVID. So please take care of yourself. It's 2.15 right now. I came here for food, but they are closed. Wow. Vending machines are literally a godsend in times like this. I have five minutes to finish this. I got a red bean ice cream and this is um, my lunch and breakfast if a cup of coffee doesn't count. I got back to work and today's work is pretty simple. I'll just have to stack all the brochures into a goodie bag and repeat for probably a hundred times. For dinner, I came to this cafeteria team restaurant to have a fulfilling meal without ripping my wallet. I ordered a roast katsu teishoku set which includes a slice of watermelon, a bowl of rice, pickles and miso soup. Finally, family photo! I'm now walking to the bus stop. I couldn't find the bus station. The last bus was like 15 minutes ago, I missed it. I then went to Don Quixote to hunt some appropriate shoes for work. I really need a backup if someone confronts me for wearing this. I didn't buy anything in the end even though they are really cheap. <laughs> I only get this, how am I supposed to do my work inside here? I'm happy that in this dorm room, I have a place for me to sit with my outside clothes. Anyways, I'm gonna go edit my video and I'll go to sleep. Before that, I really need to send one important email out. I found out that I failed a class for the first time. I failed simply because I missed a deadline and I wasn't even aware of it because I failed to notice that the two tasks shared the same deadline. I then went to buy a cleanser because I left mine at home. It was already almost 11 so thank god for these 24 hour grocery stores. The place I stayed has free coffee, so taking full advantage of this was my utmost priority during my stay. Since this is my first full day of work, we were provided bentos for lunch. Oops, how did my tag go to the bag? Embarrassing. I need to make my hair black today to attend a Zoom session with a company, or as the Japanese called, an internship. So the free drink of the day is espresso, and the espresso wasn't really expressing. I kind of almost fall asleep a few times throughout the meeting, and now I'm gonna fill up some questionnaire for them before I head out. I finally can show my real hair color. It is 1.30 now, and I'm gonna go grab lunch. I have not moved on yet from Hanuk. I'm looking for Vietnamese food. I need it in my blood. Looking at Vietnamese language just makes me so happy. It's close. I ordered a bowl of Wun Bo Hui despite being extremely confused looking at a photo in the menu. I was still confused when it is served. A little bit disappointed to be honest and I thought it was modified to suit Japanese taste since it looked like ramen. I also questioned myself if I communicated correctly the other day when I was in Hanoi and got served something different instead. I actually took a full day off today, so the afternoon is all for myself. It's a mental health day, baby. I thought I needed this just in case. But work at the conference wasn't as bad as I thought. Nonetheless, I spent my afternoon editing in this pretty little space I have. I'm feeling hungry. 
I'm gonna go order myself a pizza Even though I thought of eating chip bentos But I'll be eating bento tomorrow when I get back to working I saw this really random cute giraffe while waiting for my food And then this is what happened <laughs> <laughs> he brought the whole zoo to me and my first reaction was oh i'm embarrassed because i didn't know that i was being seen but i felt really happy and touched because of how kind he was i ordered pizza because the reviews were really good on google and it was also affordable it was only 900 yen or us dollars seven dollars my dinner though definitely worth more than 900 yen because of the kindness i received tonight and with the company of these tiny little animals. If only I had two more extra minutes in the morning, I wouldn't be looking for coffee right now. I went to the store in the campus again and they were closed, so I went to Family Mart. This Family Mart is kind of different. It's like one of those old school Kandaranchi shops selling candies individually. This one kind of looks like dog food. No idea what it is. I usually get cafe latte instead of like coffee when I'm hungry so that it can act as my breakfast as well as my coffee because it has milk in it. Is your body next to me on rainy days? Just make your Today is my final day of work and I just want to show you my work morning routine. I wake up at 6.30, change into my formal attire and then I make my bed. I'm checking out today so I need to take off all the sheets and pillowcase. Then I went to the sink area to do my oral hygiene and wash my face. I wipe dry my face using a tissue paper since I don't trust the towel I got from the hostel. And then I do my skincare, I go back to my bed, grab the sheets and use towel and throw them into the bin. Then I bid goodbye to my bed and grab my luggage. At the hostel lobby, I got myself a latte just to enjoy this free coffee perk one more time. Oops, I just remember I forgot to put in ice so I quickly put in some ice while trying my best not to splash my coffee. Definitely not recommended. I also did my makeup using the mirror in the dining place while finishing my latte. I left the place at 7.30 and go wait for the bus at the bus stop just opposite where I stayed. The bus is late. I don't know how I'm gonna walk into a room full of 80 people with my luggage. There are a lot of buses but none of them can take me to where I want to go. The bus was late, the traffic was bad, I was late for about 5 minutes in the end. But I think it's fine because the organizers told us not to rush. Back at this restaurant again and ordered sakana teishoku and I got a pineapple instead of a watermelon this time. As I was eating, someone entered the shop and I heard a very familiar voice. It was my lab mate. He came to the seat next to me and said hi to his friend and then walked back to his seat without acknowledging me. They ask you how you are, you just have to say that you're fine. I finished my dinner and I'm still at this restaurant. My friends are at the restaurant near the train station because I just finished work from the university. I don't want to go all the way to the train station since they are coming to where I'm at right now. And then now I'm changing off work outfit. I just left the restaurant. Kind of got scolded by the auntie. I'm having a headache. My eyes are hurting so I just decided to put eye drops in my eye. I got scolded. She was like, this is a cafeteria so please don't do that here. Please do it in the toilet. And also when I walk into her shop, like before I order anything, she asked me to sanitize my hand. The way she asked me was pretty rude compared to the other customers who walk in after me. So a guy just approached me just now and it was pretty scary and I pretended to not know any Japanese the whole time. I thought someone's gonna come and scold me again or do something mean to me but no. I think he was trying to just flirt. He was like in his 30s or 40s. He asked me, are you free right now or are you waiting someone? Are you alone? We can wait together here. And then he just sit right in front of me. I pretended not to speak Japanese the whole time. I was using body language and then he asked me, are you a Japanese? And I was like doing this. And he was like, oh, you said you don't know Japanese, but now you know. I was so scared. Maybe I 
made him mad but very thankfully he left me alone and went somewhere like something happened right before my dinner time i've never feel accepted at all in japan i've always felt like i'm an outsider but the girl that i just met yesterday made me feel like home she's such a happy sweet lovely fluff ball <laughs> i can only say good things about her it's like one of the greatest things that happened to me in japan i am so lucky to be able to experience that but why do bad things happen after that like do i have to always experience something bad after receiving something good and my soul undeserving of something good well i just went through a roller coaster of emotions oh wait so you send me your location it's very freshly made. Actually, I prefer that. I think that's something copies of Yeah, I know.